again papaya. I'm having this papaya also because of the enzymes. And I like to have something sweet. Because the diet I'm always craving for sweets. Everyone who is not craving the diet for nothing is a liar. Either he's not on a diet or he's pretending like everything is alright. A lot of my co-competitors say that I'm hungry uh, in a diet. They're never tired in a diet. They have no cravings. They're all liars. And if this would be the case, why do they immediately start eating after the show is over? Why do they start eating french fries, potato chips, chocolates, everything? And they have no cravings. I think uh, it's totally normal um, to suffer in the diet. If uh, I wouldn't be suffering the diet, it wouldn't be a diet at all. And uh, so my replacement for sweets is uh, uh, sometimes, uh, it's almost a daily basis, uh, my papaya. Uh, deprived of sleep, I wake uh, every night a couple of times up. I go back and forth to the restroom. I'm hungry, I'm craving. And uh, I do twice a day cardio. Train uh, in the afternoons between 60 and 90 minutes. Sometimes longer, sometimes less. Only when I'm very, very tired and very exhausted. I take uh, a day break, I take a day off. But mostly I force myself. It's a uh, a uh, profession like any other else. For example, if you would be a police officer, you're not in the mood to go to your second shift, you have to go, because you know it's your job. In my case, it's the same. But the difference is, I like to be world class, and to be world class, you have to give something special. You have to do something extra. If you're not willing doing it, then uh, you should do something else. And uh, I'm uh, uh, willing to sacrifice a lot of things, uh, not my health, but a lot of other things, uh, and uh, I think uh, if you are uh, a competitive bodybuilder and you have a kind of weird lifestyle, you can't make it. You have to pay your dues, you have to go to the gym. If it's rainy, if it's cold, if your girlfriend broke up with you or if your boyfriend broke up with you, you have to go to the gym. It's like uh, I'm giving all, all these examples, but those are like uh, uh, teeth brushing, you have to do it on a daily basis. Otherwise, uh, there are no results coming. The other hard thing in bodybuilding is uh, you train at least for 10 uh, years, for a decade, before you can make any money. So uh, I'm in this sport not uh, to become a millionaire, to become rich. I'm in this sport because I love the sport. I'm dedicated to the sport. And uh, I knew from beginning on uh, I wouldn't make uh, as, as much income like uh, other people in other sports. Nevertheless, if you're at the, at the top, you like also to have a better lifestyle. And uh, uh, lifestyle is not my only target or goal. The goal is uh, to place high enough and to prove to myself that I'm one of the best. Thank you. Got you, on it. I mean, I expected you earlier, but my body weight is today. Uh, here is the scale. If just to follow me here, yeah. ten days out now, Olympia. Let's see, two ninety-two point six. Two ninety-two point uh, six. How much uh, this is in kilos? How much? One hundred thirty-one point six kilos. Um, it sounds heavy, but uh, I have still 10 days time and I think I will be competing between 280 and 285 probably. This is my trophy from the Arnold Classic. So I have still the trophy here because of two reasons. One reason uh, is uh, to motivate me for the upcoming Olympia. The other reason is to remind me how hard it is uh, to achieve a uh, top spot, place number one. So it's a reminder, a good reminder. Mitz, I have here my two chicken breasts. And I have here my, my sweet potato or yams or whatever. And I have here onions and I have here um, uh, tomato in slices. Right. And the diet always high protein, low carbs, low fat, plenty of water. Um, 
during the daytime, also during um, the meals, because the more you eat, uh, excuse me, the more you drink, the more you actually slow down your digestion process. I like to slow down my digestion process to eat less, to have a longer, uh, a longer time of, uh, to have a longer period of time, my stomach filled up so that I don't eat that much. Normally you shouldn't eat that, you shouldn't drink that much uh, fluids during the meals, but I intentionally do it. And now the weather here is still hot. I'm sweating the whole time, I'm doing lots of cardio, I'm um, using the tanning bed, so I feel most of the time thirsty. And if I don't uh, drink enough, I feel dehydrated, I become nervous, I become aggravated. So um, I'm used to drink more and more. And it's also very important to drink lots of water, especially when you are when you're having a high protein intake, because it's a lot of uh, pressure for the kidneys. So to flush um, all the toxins out, you have to drink also lots of water. And uh, right now, just water, just coffee, um, tea, no artificial sweetener. Um, actually, very plain, no spices here, um, no pepper, no. Um, no, no salt anyway, no sodium. Take the sodium out by a natural way. This means uh, I avoid egg whites the last three weeks because they contain a lot of sodium. So if one word, I cut naturally the sodium out. I don't do any sodium loading. I don't do any potassium loading. Um, uh, the closer I come to the show, the more I watch out what I'm eating uh, specifically uh, uh, regarding sodium. The, low, uh, the, more, uh, the less sodium I have from the food, the better it is, and the harder I become. I don't know if you remember um, two and a half weeks ago when we had uh, one of our last uh, tapings in the gym, at Powerhouse Gym. I showed you how my, now I don't have any big amounts of fluid, you know, for sure. That's because the sodium goes out slowly and slowly, and I'm getting also harder here. You see this here? Having sodium out means also feeling weak. And um, the closer I come to the show, uh, the more I feel weak. I would say the last two weeks are the hardest, but um, I will manage this for sure. Uh, it's very, very essential and important uh, to train as heavy as possible. A lot of people ask me, what does it mean heavy? Heavy means training in the rep range between uh, six and uh, let's say eight reps per set but in general if it comes to the upper body i would say six eight reps are pretty heavy it depends on the recuperation time depends on your biorhythm it depends on your food intake uh, your sleeping habits so it's always uh, different but uh, in general to put uh, size on you have to train heavy even in pre-contest time, you're supposed to train heavy. And if you feel very, very tired, then just skip a training day. Don't go to the gym. Uh, stay at home. Recuperate. Try to sleep. Try to eat more to feel the very next day better. Um, I think you should never train uh, more than uh, two or three days in a row. Otherwise, uh, you think you're training intense, but you are not. Even after three days, you need a break off-season or pre-contest. Also important uh, to have a good uh, nutrition basis. should feed your body on a daily basis of protein, with uh, multiminerals, with vitamins. Uh, uh, otherwise, uh, you get uh, in a kind of stagnation phase. Uh, besides bodybuilding, you shouldn't get obsessed with bodybuilding. You should do something else. You should do something for your brains. You should uh, read uh, newspapers. You should read books. You should watch TV. You should, be, you should spend time uh, with your kids, with your family. So uh, even if bodybuilding is important to you, nevertheless, you should have a life besides bodybuilding. So for this uh, upcoming Olympia, I'm uh, uh, pretty confident. I'm uh, positive. It's my seventh qualification for the Olympia this year in Rome, and. Uh, so I have high demands of myself and uh, I'm uh, looking forward to the show. Thank you. One so-called training log. It started at the 14th of uh, December 98. I'm actually keeping track uh, of my training since uh, I would say 10, 11, 11 years. I write in this book on a daily basis down um, what I'm training <clears throat> what kind of uh, supplements I've been taking so far, how I felt during the training, 
and uh, what kind of poundages I use during the training. I write the exercises down. I write. For example, I'm getting ready now for the Olympia uh, 99. I can compare that what I'm doing right now, the weights which I'm using, whatever, um, with um, the time frame during the Arnold's Classic. I'm 10 days out of the Olympia now. I compare this, for example, um, with that what I have been doing 10 days out of the Arnold's Classic this year. I think it's very, very um, important and uh, effective as a, uh, as a guy as a, who is in uh, bodybuilding, as an amateur or as a professional to keep track of what you are doing because you forget always that what you have been doing uh, so far. Um, besides that, I have here um, actually written down, either I do it or my wife does it, she does it actually most of the time, uh, she writes it down. Uh, what kind of calories, like uh, daily calorie intake I have. Um, for example, we have here the 8th of August, 99. It was uh, Sunday. I was eating oats, um, a banana, strawberries, orange. Had a protein shake in the afternoon. I had rice, I had zucchini, I had a mahi-mahi uh, fish, I had a tomato. I had a mango in the afternoon, a half a mango. I had later on a steak, mushroom, potato. Um, I had uh, five grams of oil. Uh, 50 grams of salad. So she writes down during the diet, but just during the diet, 12 weeks out of the show, on a daily basis what I'm eating. She writes down the carbs, um, the protein and the fats. And so at the end of the day or during the day, I know how much I have to eat or how much I have been eating so far. So I can calculate uh, with my calories. If I was today maybe um, like on this day at uh, 208 uh, grams of carbs. I know if I have to go tomorrow on lower carbs or if I have to increase my carb intake. And I know exactly what I've been eating so far. And I know this also, for example, for the time frame, five, six, or seven, or eight years ago. I transfer that, the amount of the calories in my training log. So one depends on the other. And like I said, I have these two different scripts here, and they go along with each other. It's very, very beneficial. I can advise everyone who is uh, ambitious to have something like that. You shouldn't be lazy. In off-season, I don't write down what I'm eating. But in pre-contest, I always, always write down what I'm eating. And um, I think this is one of the reasons why I'm a kind of successful in that kind of sport. And um, that what I'm eating right now was written already uh, down before and so uh, tonight I will know uh, if I have to eat 10 grams or 15 grams of carbs more or whatever.